Hey guys, uh, today I'm hanging out at a little park in the neighborhood and I just wanted to make a couple videos to catch you guys up on what happened over the summer, what I did over the summer. Uh, basically I worked a lot so there wasn't a whole lot going on but uh, there were a few uh, modifications I made to the van that I wanted to show you so let's check those out. So today is about noon on Monday, Labor Day. Uh, it's 97 degrees outside and approximately 91 degrees inside the van. Uh, it's a cloudy day, so uh, you know we're getting some. I'm wide out in the open, so sometimes I'm getting a lot of sun, sometimes I'm not. So that's why it's staying a little cooler in the van. So in these kind of temperatures, how in the world do I sleep in the van, or have I slept in the van? now going on 90 plus days in a row, consecutive days of sleeping in the van. How is that possible? Well, let's check out uh, my ventilation system. In my ventilation system, the main component is this roof fan right here. It doesn't have to be a fantastic fan like mine. It can be any brand, but the main goal is to have a fan, a roof vent fan up on top of your, on top of your roof, whether it's a van or an RV. Now, I don't use this to blow air in at all, never. I just use it to suck air out. The hot air that accumulates inside, I push it right out and I pull fresh, cooler air in through the windows. Let me show you how I do that. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're not worried about bugs or mosquitoes or theft or burglary or any creepy people coming around, sure, you can leave the door wide open, you can leave the windows wide open and run the fan that way and that'll bring plenty of fresh air in. But if you're going to do some stealth camping where you don't want people to know that you're there, you're probably going to want to install a rain guard. That way you bring your window up to just on the other side of the rain guard to where the, you can't tell that the window is actually open. It's cracked and then there's this little gap in between the window and the rain vent that allows airflow to go in and inside the van. So what happens is when you turn that fan on on the air vent it starts sucking air out of the top of the van. And where's it getting that fresh air from? Right here. You have the windows cracked and it starts sucking fresh air out of the window and it flows through the van, brings fresh air in. The hot air accumulates in the top of the van, the ceiling, and it sucks it out the uh, the vent so that is one way the problem with that though is it doesn't it doesn't bring in fresh air very quickly so let's say you're out all day and your van is hot and you want to go to sleep well you want to get this process done as quickly as possible but you still are not able to roll your windows down all the way well there's another thing you can do let's check it out so what I do is I have my window down you know, almost halfway, like it is here. Okay, halfway, so there's gonna be a lot of airflow going through there. The fan's sucking the air and pulling it through this big opening in the window. The problem though in Houston is we have a lot of bugs, a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of things that go through the window. So that's where some a product like this comes in hand. You can see it there. It's called a Skeeter Beater. It's a screen with magnets and you put it around your window. Let me install it and I'll show what it looks like. Okay, so now this is what the Skeeter Beater looks like installed. Let me get you a quick look at the logo there. That's what it looks like, Skeeter Beater. So as you can see, it's a screen uh, supposedly, it will keep out mosquitoes and a variety of bugs and no CMs. So the way they do it is they have a lot of these little areas where they have a magnet in there. And you pull it nice and snug. That way there's not a, a good enough opening for something to get in there. Sure, if a an ant or a bug or something wanted to crawl through there, they could make it through. But we're talking about just trying to get these, you know flying biting insects from in here so what i used to do is i try to pull it tight across the window that way 
there's no gaps and it comes all the way down here and the only weak spot in my van is there's no metal right through here along the window or along the mirror so although that's why I pull it snug that way still you can't it's hard for a flying insect anyway to fit through there so it still does a good job it's a little loose right down here but enough to keep a mosquito out mosquitoes aren't very smart <laughs> so I haven't had any problems with any bugs getting in I sleep better at night knowing that you know I'm not getting bit by mosquitoes while I'm sleeping with the windows down so that's what's uh, that's how I'm working it right now I've got my mosquito beater on I've got the fan usually on level two sucking hot air out and these windows are usually down about this about this much sometimes I'll go all the way down and that's how I'm uh, that's how I'm keeping cool at night okay so now that we've talked about what I do on the outside of the van to keep cool let's talk about the inside of the van well I have this endless breeze fan it's a 12 volt fan by fantastic fan and what I do is right now I've got it strapped in so it won't go anywhere I'm anywhere while I'm driving but so what I do every night before I you know go to bed I'll turn the fan on the uh, the fantastic fan above me I'll turn that on like here I'll turn it on now right now all right so that's on level two start sucking air in I probably need to clean this vent here pretty soon all right so that's sucking air that way let me turn that off you might not be able to hear me <laughs> okay so I turn that on I grab this fan out of here and I have a little table over here that I put it on and I'm not sure what this table is going to stay or not but right now I'm keeping it in here oh I've got these little things on the bottom to keep it to protect the floor so I can easily slide this thing back and forth okay so I have the fan sitting there now normally I don't have that the sliding door open like that I just have that open to, to create more light in here so hopefully you can see what's going on but so I'll have that fan on and I'll turn that on usually level two as well and that blows right over the bed so basically right in my face you know I like to keep you want to keep your head cool so that plugs that goes in there and here's a uh, 12 volt right here 12 volt adapter I've got my little 12 volt plug right here I just plug it in right there and of course I've got the batteries so just crank this guy on I usually go to level two get a little airflow going uh, yeah nice and it sleeps on it. Alrighty guys, that's how I'm handling my ventilation in my uh, little 1998 Astro van, little uh, camper, van, camper van conversion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.